Unit 4 Air Air is one of the essential thing for the human being and not only the human being but for all living organisms in the world. Air it is for the survival of plants and animals. Air is used for burning and combustion. Air consists of different gases which is used for respiration and other purposes. Air is also present in the atmosphere and it layers. In this unit, we will be learning about the components and the uses of air and we will also develop the skills in performing experiments and arriving at conclusions. We also know the role of oxygen in the process of burning. By the time, we will be also realizing the significance of air for the survival of plants and animals on the earth. Finally, we appreciate the need of air in protecting our atmosphere. Air Air is present everywhere around us. We can't see the air, but we can feel the air. We feel the air when the wind blows, when we turn a page very fastly, and seeing a kite flies very highly. And most importantly, we see air when we dry our clothes outside. So we cannot see, touch or taste the air but we can feel it by the movements. So we can say air is everywhere. Air is necessary for us to live. We can live without food for some days. We can live without water for a few hours but we can't live without air for a few seconds also. So Air is very important for all living beings to survive in this earth. As the air is moving, we call it as a wind. It is cool and soothing as a breeze. When the wind grows heavily, it has enough strength to move the root of a plant, even the roofs of a house. So, air has been seen in different extremes. Atmosphere the earth is surrounded by a huge envelope of air called atmosphere. Our atmosphere also extends to more than 800 km above the earth's surface where we live and it is also held in the place by the earth gravity. More than this, the gravity also helps us for protecting from many harmful rays which directly comes from the sun. The air envelope is thicker nearer the earth's surface. And as we go higher, the forces of gravity decreases, so it is not able to hold a large amount of air. The layers of atmosphere. The atmosphere is made up of five different layers. The troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the ionosphere, and the exosphere. The troposphere is the layer which is closest to the Earth's surface and it is about 60 km above the surface of the earth. This is the place where the weather changes occurs. The stratosphere lies above the troposphere layer and this layer has an ozone layer in it. The ozone layer plays a major role in protecting all our lives on the earth from the harmful UV rays that is ultraviolet rays from the sun. The next layer to stratosphere is mesosphere where the burning of metas takes place and more than that we have ionosphere and exosphere. Exosphere is the last layer where it has only low temperature of air. Air is very important for the survival of plants and animals. In air we have a lot of composition of different gases. The major component of air is nitrogen Almost four-fifths of the air consists of nitrogen whereas the second major component of air is oxygen and it is one-fifth of the air. In addition to the nitrogen and oxygen gases, the air also contains small amount of carbon dioxide, water vapor and other some other gases like argon, helium etc. The air may also contain some dust particles. Here in this picture we can see that the nitrogen is 78% the oxygen is 21% 
and the dust particles and water vapor and carbon dioxide consist of only 1%. The uses of air. The air is used in different purposes for a daily life like breathing, burning, for a cycle tube, for patients in ICU, for oxygen and a person who climbs a mountain they definitely need an oxygen cylinder as the temperature is low when they move the higher places. Let us learn something new. A weather clock shows the direction in which the air will move at a particular place. And we also know wind sock will also find the direction. Let us see the importance of air for the survival of plants and animals. We know that plant plays a major role in the transformation of air as carbon dioxide and oxygen. Even plant requires air for their growth. During this respiration, the plants take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide, just as how our animals do. This gaseous exchange with the air in the atmosphere takes place. The tiny holes called stomata which is present in the air leaves. The respiration of plants and animals which live in water. The water bodies like ponds, lakes, rivers and sea have large amount of air dissolved and it contains oxygen in it. The plants and the animals those live in the water uses the oxygen dissolved in water for breathing. How do they breathe? For example, a frog respires through its skin and fish uses their gills. The plant absorbs air through different sources through water. How it absorbs? The water is absorbed through the roots and it is carried through the stem to the rest part of the plants. And the carbon dioxide and light we get from the air and the sun. And how does the oxygen? The oxygen and water vapor exist the leaf through the stomata. The water loss from the leaves we call it as transpiration. The carbon dioxide enters through the stomata as a natural opening in the leaf. The chlorophyll which is absorbed by the sunlight is used for the photosynthesis process. This is how the oxygen and carbon dioxide is traveled through the respiration process. Let us have a look of the following table to compare the presence of air in what we have inhaled and in exhaled. So we have seen a lots of components of gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, noble gases, dust particles and even temperature. We inhale 78% of nitrogen and we exhale the same 78%. Oxygen we inhale 21% and we exhale only 16%. Carbon dioxide is mixed 0.03% and the exhaled air is 4%. The water vapor present in inhale air is variable amount, how much we breathe. And the exhaled air increases the amount in the exhaled. The noble gases, it is 0.95% and the same as it is exhaled. The dust particles in the air which we breathe is about the variable amount and while we exhaling there is no dust particles. What about the temperature? The air we inhale will be the room temperature where we are and the air we exhale depends upon the body temperature. Let us learn something new. When carbon dioxide is cooled to minus 57 degrees Celsius it directly becomes a solid without changing it to any liquid state. And this state we call it as a dry eye state and it is good refrigerating agent. These dry eyes is used in trucks or freight cars for refrigerating perishable items such as meat, fish while transporting from one place to another place. The uses of air. The air is used by the plants and animals for breathing. Yes, without air, 
all living beings can't survive in this world air is used for burning fuels like wood coal kerosene and lpg gases so without oxygen there is no burning the compressed air is used to fill tires like various kinds of vehicles all kinds of vehicle tires run with the help of air air plays an important role in maintaining the water cycle in nature we get rain with the help of this water cycle the ozone layer present in the atmosphere helps in protecting us from the harmful radiations like uv rays which directly comes from the sunlight which reaches the earth apart from these uses the air is also used in extraordinary conditions such as when a patient having breathing difficulties they use the oxygen cylinder air is most important for a person who is climbing a mountain as the temperature is very low they need to carry and stand by oxygen cylinder with them people those who go into a deep sea they need an oxygen cylinder as for the breathing purposes the blowing air is used to turn the blades of a windmill we know windmills is the best source where we can use for electricity and pumping of water the windmills are used to draw water by running pumps to run a flow mills and also to generate electricity yes air plays an important role in a daily life